And now we have a heart line from Asiya in Melbourne, Australia. To our beloved Master and Supreme Master television team, first of all, I wish you to be healthy, young and beautiful. I would like to share my spiritual experiences with you and my fellow practitioners. My storytelling is a bit clumsy. Please forgive me. I was still in Olak or Vietnam in 2010. As I meditated, I found myself on Judgment Day. I saw a deity, but I did not know his name. He was huge, three times the size of a normal person. He sat on a very high platform, holding a long sword. When he raised his sword, it became longer and stretched far away. As he swung it down, numerous heads fell out, and below the platform there were many of his soldiers standing around, waiting for his commands. He gave a command that everyone lines up orderly and gripped by religion. Those who had no religion but lived virtuously stood aside. Those who did not live a moral life also stood aside. I did not understand at that point why I was standing at the front of the line. I looked across and saw many fellow practitioners. I was very calm at that moment and prayed to you. Dear Master, you have not been recognized officially in Olak or Vietnam yet. What should I answer him? You responded inside. Just answer him honestly. At that time, I was wearing a yellow shirt and a necklace with a heart-shaped pendant containing a picture of you. When my turn came, he asked, Yellow shirt girl, do you have any religion? Before I could answer, he stood up and shouted, Everyone, bow down to God. I was startled and looked around. Everyone kneeled down, only I was still standing. When I looked down at my necklace at that moment, I saw the picture of you was shining brightly. He said that you are the embodiment of God, coming down here to save sentient beings and save the earth. Then he gave me a bunch of beautiful pictures of all the masters, including yours. I held a very beautiful picture of you, and then I turned it over and found Jesus' picture. I think you are Jesus. Dear Master, my final words to you. You are our breath. Thank you, Master. May God bless the Supreme Master television team. Respectfully yours, Asia in Melbourne, Australia. Gentle Asia, we thank you for your moving words which touched our hearts and pray that all beings may love our beloved Master as we, her ever grateful disciples, do. May God endlessly bless you and adaptable Australia with abundance and peace. In Universal Light, Supreme Master TV Team, P.S. We are happy to share Master's response with you. Shining Asiya, so much love for you. You are indeed one of the lucky ones to reconnect with God, your inner Master. This is human's divine heritage. Still, many people remain blind to the knowledge that they are all children of God. I am thankful to God for those like yourself who have found the way home. May the heavens adorn you and the friendly Australian people with joy and wisdom. Your aura can be seen. Be vegan to look clean. We welcome your hotlines, stories and or cute loving animal people clips. Please send them via suprememastertv.com forward slash hotline.